Hi guys, Arsenal SLR 107FR, Paul first time in the Union and uh, 5000 rounds test, episode number one, 1000 rounds down the pipe. But before even shooting, we want to tell you guys, of course, we started with checking, checking the head spacing, it didn't close yeah. on the no go. Nothing uh, went bad in that department. And also, I checked after the uh, shooting and it didn't close on the no go as well. So, the head spacing didn't move. What a surprise, yeah. right? But speaking about cosmetics, first things first, as you can guys see, uh, the paint is basically flaking off. Yeah, the uh, Arsenal, what the hell? Yeah. I mean, what is this? Is this a uh, I don't even know, it's a barbecue paint, it is doing better on the rifle than this. I have never seen something like this happen before on, on the rifle. And it's only on the barrel and on the gas block. We didn't took off the handguards yet, but this is this is happening on the barrel and on the handguards. And we did check the temperature, not even once, not even once, we crossed the 400 degrees. It was 450, I think that was the highest temperature on the gas block. But regardless, this shouldn't be happening, okay? No. Uh, also, the rear side post is crooked completely to the right. Uh, it's tilted to the right. Uh, hopefully you're seeing the pictures right now. How is that even possible? This is a $1,000 rifle. Guys, we're not talking about the Wasser. It's not really acceptable on the Wasser, but this is a $1,000 rifle. Really? Again, really? Uh, moving on. Uh, speaking about uh, crooked things, the gas block is going a little bit to the left and the front post a little bit to the right. Question, did the rifle did zero? Yes, it zeroed correctly. So, and it's not that much of the, uh, you know, it, it, that drum didn't have to be moved very much to the right. So it zeroed. I understand that argument. But again, you know, if you're spending a thousand dollars on the rifle, at least in my eyes, someone from Arsenal who was doing the quality check on this uh, should uh, probably sit down and rethink what they're doing, okay? Uh, and the, the paint, this is just, you know, I don't give a shit because it's uh, it's a paint I use very often, the rattle can, uh, and then I'll cover it. But uh, if someone, you know, th there's a lot of guys who like to have that mint condition rifles, boy, uh, you're going to have a heart attack. Yeah. But enough, uh, enough talk. Uh, let's see what we got inside under the hood. Uh, guys, as always, we are lubricating the rifle every 500 rounds. So before the shooting, the rifle was, was lubricated and after the 500 rounds, rifle was uh, lubricated as well. And uh, let's see what we got as far as uh, any, you know, uh, what is happening inside the receiver. Also, speaking about the parts, internal parts that trigger Paul, this is like dragging the body of the dead hooker through the railroad. I have never seen the trigger like this. Whoever did that trigger, you should be ashamed of yourself. I mean, I could probably take a wood and do the better trigger uh, than this. It's just horrible, but we'll continue to use it because I want to see how this Arsenal trigger uh, will, uh, will perform. I mean, the guys who are bitching about the G2 triggers, oh my gosh, the G2 trigger is like Ferrari compared to the uh, Fiat Punto. I think that was that, that horrible one, <laughs> all right? So the, ho the, the trigger is really bad. Uh, that didn't stop us with the accuracy. No. Both, uh, we got a, the, the rifle is very accurate. Right out of the box, the rifle is very accurate. Uh, 200 yards, kneeling, prone position, uh, uh, perfect hits uh, yeah. on, the, on the target. Paul, 300 yards and 300 yards. Uh, I think we both scored like in 80% uh, yeah. mark uh, oh, yeah. with iron sights, with wind crossing the field. Uh, I would say accuracy is outstanding. Uh, yeah. So kudos to Arsenal on this. All right, let's pull out that magical uh, bolt carrier and let's see what's happening on the bolt and the bolt carrier. We'll talk about uh, the, the bolt carrier first and uh, there are some, there are some, it's just dirty guys, there is some, uh, really nothing, it's just like finish being gone uh, from inside the channel, 
that's a good thing on the piston head i don't see any deformation on the piston head uh, the marks only from the from the gas tube but there is no like there is no dip no deformation on the piston head how are we doing on the tail because tail tail is perfect paul yeah it's... check it out no nothing on the tail and uh, you guys should be seeing pictures uh, right now of uh, cycling in front of your eyes if you see something guys we, we this is still warm when we taking this rifle apart uh, it's sometimes we can miss something tell us hey you know give me a better picture so look out that part because i'm not seeing this you know uh, something is not right but uh, i i really don't see anything else paul on the on the bolt carrier that bolt carrier looks uh, very well and there is you know just a splash on the tail of the bolt carrier but i uh, see it's not not the form it's not the form it's it's look looks perfect yeah so uh the good job you know we'll see we'll continue to to watch it uh but this is perfectly fine how are we doing on the bolt bolt is just dirty <laughs> uh also on the locking lock this is a little bit uh we will continue to watch that 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 uh, point over here guys on the locking lock because this is where that uh thing goes and interacts with the trunion uh other than this uh, I don't see anything jumping out, yeah, but definitely I'll be watching this. This is something to keep an eye on uh, how this is going to round up. It looks perfect right now, and, uh, uh, but you can see that the, the metal was yeah. taken off from it. So uh, it will be interesting to watch it and see how this is going to end up. And there is absolutely nothing on the, on the uh, back of uh, the bolt. And as you guys know, the Arsenal is using spring-loaded firing pin. So it's a little bit different than the regular um, surplus uh, bolts for the AKs but I don't see anything else in the back of the locking lugs uh, that looks perfect yep. this is just polished finish uh, but no cheap outs nothing is mi missing uh, nothing is happening here so uh, in the bolt face uh, perfect I mean a thousand rounds yeah and nothing on it is just dirty uh, from from the gunpowder all right, how we are looking inside the trunion? Oh, look at this is see, check it out. Uh, we'll show you guys. Uh, this is this is some some metal was shaved off uh, on this part, but uh, we'll see if this is this is going to progress or not. It's just the first thousand rounds. Uh, I don't see anything on the other side of the trunion, um, and here hard to tell. I I really don't. It doesn't look bad. Let's see underneath, and underneath is just standard. Uh, where uh, we some of the magazines at the beginning were kind of tight even the surplus magazines uh, we had the steel surplus magazines Magpul magazines uh, were working working yeah. nicely but some of the surplus magazines i was cut by the surprise were kind of hard to fit into that magazine well but more magazines changes 33 plus magazine changes and uh, the magazine well is working fine <laughs> yet rifle is fine now uh, rails are looking good so far so good there is uh, one screw up rivet do you see this yep, paul yep do you see that and again that's just the sloppy manufacturing on on the arsenal part uh, but um, it's a cosmetic issue uh, again it doesn't bother me that much but uh, if you like a perfection this rifle isn't perfect okay and how we are looking with other rivets i don't see any gaps uh, from the receiver again we'll take a pictures you should be you should be watching it uh, side rail is looking good too uh, let's pop the let's pop the hood uh, on that uh, on that um, rail let me see if i can move the lever and use my retard strength ah yes all right okay the ooh, look at all that bubbling look at all that bubbling on the barrel that's that's just the finish and it's flaking off right now yeah i mean really honestly the gas tube is looking good let me paul look at inside do you see any fresh marks or anything nope no, no, as 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 i told you guys that our rear side post uh, is crooked to the right but it is what it is at this point and uh the the that's pretty much it how are we looking inside the gas black that that looks clean i don't see any 
think you know like on some rifles you can see this uh, the head the cylinder head is working really hard hard and wearing off uh, the marks uh, the muzzle brakes uh, the this muzzle brakes uh, on the 7.62 it produces some spectacular flashes yeah. um, it's like a dragon coming alive and uh, brief briefs the fire and it's so funny because sometimes it goes to the right to the left and then to the top so you gotta be careful with it uh and uh but it, it, it was funny look is that rust yeah yeah that's rust this is rust well i i sincerely i hope so that there is no rust underneath of that paint and that's why it's flaking off but we'll keep an eye on it next episode this rifle will be dipped to the water and it's not going to be clean so we'll see how it's going to survive the 5000 rounds test and uh, if the if the fresh water will have any effect on it all right chamber looks perfect chamber oh, yeah. chamber looks perfect you can still eat from it which is surprising <laughs> i mean it's a thousand rounds down the pipe and you can eat from that thing uh, but uh, other than this i think so this is it uh, and if you have any questions guys about the arsenal first thousand rounds please let us know oh one more thing paul you did kill the melon with it you did kill the melon uh, with uh, shooting with uh, with that rifle from 100 yards not that much left uh, that was the mouth shot mouth shot right here and uh, his brain kind of popped and it was all over uh, the ground but that this just tells you you know I, I understand guys it's not the head okay we didn't have the real head but uh, you got the picture what happens with that round um, hits the, the correct spot it's just devastation all right guys that's it please let us know if you have any questions thanks for watching thanks for your support and uh, we'll be back with uh, more tests yeah. all right thank you guys